Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Duke Blue Devils and the Clemson Tigers. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring you all the excitement with this game. And here come the Tigers. The Blue Devils don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Clemson needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. Hey, guys, I'm going with the Tigers. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Kicks it off. Jenkins fields it at the seven. I really think this defense is going to have a difficult time covering this talented athlete at wide receiver. They don't have anyone who can cover him one-on-one, -on -one, so he could be in for a huge day. He's the most dangerous weapon on his team, and there's really no one on the other sideline who can cover him. This game has all the makings for a big day for this young man. It sure does, and I'm ready for this one. Second it's second ten. down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. Shake and make move. Wilson brings him down. Let's take a look at how these guys have done on offense so far this year. Well, they've done pretty well, my friend. They're in the top ten in the country. These guys have been putting on an offensive clinic all year long. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Here's the give. Gray with a takedown. The offense couldn't get anything going that time. No, they couldn't. They really looked out of sync there, and they're going to have to make some adjustments to come back next time out. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Takes it to 21. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. One man backfield. Omar takes a handoff, and they got him for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. It looks like this defense has put up some very impressive numbers thus far. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, and they tackle well. That combination means one thing for the offense. Nightmare. Lee, they've been playing great football all year. You're lucky if you can even get past the 50, let alone find the end zone. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 20-yard line. 
Upshaw with three wide receivers. Upshaw drops the throw, and it falls incomplete. That brings up a punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. the punt he gets it off Jordan calls for the fair catch he hauls it in at the 42 so the offense takes over and the last time they had the ball they had a tough time getting anything going they'll take over at the 42 yard line McFadden has four receivers lined up here McFadden Hands it off. No, play fake. Incomplete. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. Mason picks it off. And down he goes. And we got an injured player on the field. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Blue Devils line up with three wide. Upshaw gives it up the middle, and he's going to lose yards on this one. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! The Devils. Come out in the ace formation. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Taken back three yards. Third and 14. Ball on the 44-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Upshaw set to go to the air. Here they come. Roberts comes away with a sack. They can't block the defensive end, and he'll get credit for the sack. Excellent athleticism by this young man. He just beat the man in front of him, plain and simple. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Jordan signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 17-yard line. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll go to work at the 17. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. He drops back, rolls to the right, throws this one out to the left. And he drops it. Dropped by the wideout. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 17. McFadden is back in the gun. They'll run the option. And they hit him in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Good thing that wasn't a turnover. I thought he was going to pitch it there. Here's how the defense has done so far this year. Not too well. Let me tell you something. They're not even close to good. But they're still out there playing hard every week. McFadden drops back to pass. He rolls out to the right. And it's a true freshman. They'll bring him down. They didn't have the ball one there. Having ball control is important in football. And three it out is what you want to avoid for sure. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 19 yard line. Clemson lining up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Patterson takes it to the 
46. Copeland with a monster hit. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 40. First and 10. Duke comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Lost this one out to the right, and it's caught, and they got him for a loss. They lose three yards there. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 37. One man backfield. Up the middle. He's got an opening. Tries to juke. Copeland with a takedown. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. One man backfield. He's under some heat, and he's going to come up with a sack. Under relentless pressure, the quarterback goes down for the sack. Those guys on defense are just pinning their ears back right now and coming in as fast as they can. Well, in that case, the offense needs to sneak in a screen pass to the half. Let him get behind the rush and then take off behind his blockers for six. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Blue Devil set up in the gun. Throws. And it's incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. Third down and long coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Upshaw. Lines up in the shotgun. Upshaw, back to throw. He's looking. He's in trouble. Throws. Complete. Mayfield tackles him for a loss on the play. Nothing gained on the play. They send out the punting unit. Livingston gets it off. Jordan takes it at the 23, and he's hit hard. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing for him last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll get the ball here at the 25. Yeah. McFadden has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass, steps up, looks, and they got it. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 19. The Tigers line up with five receivers. He passes it, complete to the true freshman. Rogers brings him down. Back to the line, maybe a yard on the pass. Third down, 15, ball on the 20-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. McFadden drops to throw, looking. Over the middle, at the 40, and he's taken down. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. Not bad. It's first and 10, ball on the 46. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. He's looking. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. 
Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Rodgers with a takedown at the 49-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third the offense faces another third down as they line it up. McFadden is back in the gun. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Got it. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. It's first and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. McFadden options out. Here's an opening. And he's tackled. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. Second and six coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. Clemson comes out in the shotgun, steps up in the pocket, across the middle. It falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Third and six, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. McFadden is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. And now he's going to run. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. The Tigers come out in a shotgun, back to pass, throws, and they've got the screen set up. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. Going with the shotgun here. Snap goes to the back. Graham brings him down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Clemson will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll work the left side. Touchdown, Clemson! They went to their power back to get him in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. the PAT. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary.
one's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. Patterson fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Upshaw with three wide receivers. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. Offsides on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and five. Ball on their own 25. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 25. The Blue Devil line up with three wide. The middle. Wiltshire brings him down for a loss. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. Third, Third down and seven. Ball in the 23. Defense, defense, defense. Duke lines up with three receivers. Omar gets it going. Moore tackles him for a loss on the play. Two-yard loss. And they're ready to punt this one away. He gets it away. Jordan fields it at the 38. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field position here. From the gun. McFadden drops back on first down. Short toss. Mason with a takedown. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. It's second down and eight. Ball right around midfield. McFadden. Back in the gun. Here's an option, right side. Graham brings him down. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instinct. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. McFadden with three wide receivers. Here's the option. He's on the run. And down he goes. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. Looks down the middle. And it's caught. And they make the stop. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open things up for the big play.
The Tiger come out in a shotgun. With the spin, lost the ball, fumble, and he's drilled. And a big change in momentum right here, Kirk. And you know what? When the other offense takes the field, I say they go for the home run on the very first play. I like your thinking, Kirk. They always say a defense is most vulnerable after a turnover. That's right, Coach. If I were calling the shots, that's what I would do. First and ten. Ball on the four. The Devils come to the line with their jumbo pack. He lost the ball. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And so the offense will hang on to the ball. What was that tight end thinking? He can't keep making mistakes like that. They're not going to be so lucky next time. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the three. I doubt they'd put the ball in the air in this situation. Upshaw on the option, Lateral's back. And they get the safety. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Clemson, nine, Duke, nothing. the free kick following that safety. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll start this drive at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Clemson in a four-wide set. He throws it. Complete. He spins. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. Hand it off. And they make the stop. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 34 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Bates brings him down for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread him out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. Third it's third seven. down and seven to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Watch out for the man at wideout. He's feeling it right now. Black with a takedown. McFadden has four receivers lined up here. It's a direct snap. He jukes him. Tackle. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. Pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. Hall gets the call. 
Rodgers tackles him for a loss on the play. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 15. Clemson comes out with three receivers bunch. McFadden drops back. He's rolling right. End zone! And it's complete for the touchdown. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers, and we've seen the results on the field. Tax on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Offense makes its way onto the field. And here's hoping that this time the drive goes forward, not backwards. First They'll take over at the 33. One-man backfield. They go with a run. And he's tackled. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 35-yard line. Upshaw is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. And it's incomplete. The pass ball's incomplete. Patterson, the intended receiver, on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 35. High formation here. He's looking deep down the left side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it off. Jordan calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 29-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 29. 29-yard line. First and 10. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. Hill, the intended receiver, on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 29. McFadden with three wide receivers. McFadden set to go to the air. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 38-yard line. 
The Tiger set up in the gun. McFadden options out to the left. Duke takes a timeout. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Williams punts it, and it's a good one. Patterson signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 16. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Man, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The Blue Devil come out in the ace formation. Upshaw with the play fake. The linebacker picks it off. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Clemson. They're really digging themselves in a hole now. That interception was not what they were looking for. Yeah, they've had a really bad first half. They're going to have to stage some sort of comeback in the second half. the PAT. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score Clemson 23, Duke nothing. Clemson ready to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Robinson fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll get the ball here at the 25-yard line. Upshaw lines up in the shotgun, looking. Wants to throw outside. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. The 10. Touchdown, Clemson. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw the point to get hit, and just threw one up for grab. And to take the sack. Tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Clemson 30, Duke nothing. and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Patterson passes the five. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 25. 25-yard run. Duke comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second it's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. Single set backfield. Back to pass. Wants to get it out on the screen. The senior makes the catch. 
They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Clemson calls a timeout. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 20 yard line. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. And they got him for a loss. Clemson takes a timeout. The Devils are lining up to punt it away. Punts the ball away. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 41. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 38. McFadden has five receivers lined up here. Fires deep down the right side. It's tipped. And it falls incomplete. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a grease pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Clemson lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He keeps it. He's on the run. And they make the stop. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Clemson 30, Duke nothing. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it off. Patterson fields it at the three. So before the offense hits the field, let's take some time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Omar is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Shakes off a tackle. Moss brings him down for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Blue Devil line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Wiltshire tackles him for a loss on the play. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. It's third down at 13 to go. Ball on the 17. Nickel defense. Upshaw. Back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Tackle. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Ball on the 18-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Jordan back to return. Livingston gets it off. Jordan fields it at the 48. Before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Excellent field position to start the drive. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you've got to catch the easy ones. 
It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Clemson comes out in the shotgun. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and 10. Ball on the 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. Hot. 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 Looks. Deep pass down the left side. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hid the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an overlooked skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out sunshine. It's sunshine, Scooter, sweetheart. the PAT. So with just over six minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score is Clemson 37, Duke nothing. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Patterson fields it in the end zone. Loose football. Fire recovers the loose ball. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. Fadden is back in the gun. Nice play fake. Rolls right. He takes off. They'll bring him down. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone when performance matters the most. They put everyone up on the line. There's a play fake. Pressure coming, and they got it. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Shotgun. He has some room. And now he'll lateral it. There's a fumble, and the defense is on it. Well, it looks like they have another chance now with that fumble recovery. I don't know how much of a chance that is. They're getting blown out. We'll see. I see stranger things happening in the football game. They'll start this drive at the seven. The Blue Devil line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down with the throw. And it's incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the seven-yard line. Upshaw comes to the line with three wide. Setting up the play action. Looking over the middle. 
It falls incomplete. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. It's third down and ten. Ball on their own seven. The devil set up in the gun. Upshaw back to throw. He's looking. He rolls out to the left. He goes downtown. It's it. Almost picked off. Well, again, they can't hook up, and it'll bring up fourth down. one away. Livingston gets it off. Jordan takes it to the 49, and he puts it on the turf, and he is drilled. Set up shot at the 41-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Nice play fake. Throws it to the outside. Complete. What a catch. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. The true freshman has it. Seven yards there. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Based on their last visit to the Red Zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. And he's hit as he throws. Found his man. McCollum brings him down. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains for first down. See if they can take this one in for six. Brown, the ball carrier. He picks up a yard on the play. Right. Let's see if they can punch this one in. On the ground, right side. And down he goes. A two-yard run by the halfback. Going with the shotgun here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Is leveled. Nothing gained on the play. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. McFadden running the option. He fakes a pitch. Ball is loose. Fumble. And the offense will recover. They'll get the ball here at the six-yard line. First and 
The Devil come out in the ace formation. Omar gets it on a pitch. Roberts tackles him for a loss on the play. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback on the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the two. They come out in a nickel. They go with the option. Jenkins with a takedown. Nothing there on the keeper. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the three-yard line. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Upshaw on the option. Ball's loose. It's the running back who picks it up. And they get the safety. Tiger come out in a shotgun up the middle tackle and he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it second and nine ball on the 46 Clemson comes to the line with three wide here's the option Stewart brings him down for a loss. They'll lose yardage on that quarterback keeper. Good penetration by this defensive unit. Getting into the backfield and breaking up that play. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. From the gun. Drop back to pass. Look, here comes the pressure. Graham comes away with a sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. The Tiger line up to punt. Williams gets it off. Patterson calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 29. And now we'll see the offense coming on out of the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Three wideouts here. First down. Wants to throw outside. Miller lays it on him. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Omar is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys played football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. The Blue Devil come out in the ace formation. Upshaw with the give, and they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Hey. 
Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. Duke comes out in the shotgun. Upshaw drops the throw. Looking. Throws to the middle. Finds a man. Jordan lays it on him. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ace backfield. Upshaw. Off the fake. Across the middle. Incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. So it's second and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The defense lines up with six DB. Back to pass. Wants to throw a screen. Has some daylight. Ben Moore. Ransom. Brings him down. The wide receiver turns the screen pass into a nice first down. Well, the screen definitely paid off for him that time, but they're very lucky the defense was caught off guard. I'm not saying that the screen is a high-risk play, but I will say that about 9 out of 10 interceptions off screen passes go back for a touchdown. As we go to the final quarter of play, this one is almost wrapped up. Our score here, Clemson 39, Duke nothing. First and 10, they're inside the 20. The Devils come out in the ace formation. Upshaw, drops back to pass. He's looking, across the middle, batted ball. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Wow, not a smart pass. He thought he could squeeze it in there, I guess. Now the next time he does that, he better be ready to make a tackle. They'll pick him off if he's not careful. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Blue Devil line up in an eye formation. Upshaw running the option. And now he pitches it, and they fall on the loose ball. Are you kidding me? They recover the fumble, but man, oh, man, was that a close call. Mmm, hmm. ugly. That's about as ugly as an option can look. Well, it certainly wasn't pretty, that's for sure. But like Brad said, they recovered the football. It's part of the pass now, so they just need to forget about it and focus on their next play. The Devil, line up with three wide, steps up, across the middle, touchdown, Duke! Touchdown. That pass found the wide receiver for six. And I think the quarterback has found a soft spot in this defense. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Duke to kick this one off. Green and James deep to return. We should have a return on this one. James takes it at the four. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. With this game being a blowout, I guess the coaches decided to give the backup quarterback some time. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. A two-yard run by the halfback. Great. 
Second it's second down and eight. Ball on their own 25. Brown with three wide receivers. Brown steps back to pass. Somehow gets the ball away. His receiver has it. Stanley with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Damn. Brown lines up in the shotgun. He drops back, looks, steps up in the pocket, throws it to the outside. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Second and 10, ball on their own 45. Brown, back in the gun. He steps up, looking. Here's the long ball, left side. And he got it! And he's all the way down to the eight-yard line. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The Tiger come out in the shotgun. Brown drops back. He has some room. Touchdown, Clemson. Well, he saw a hole and took off for the end zone. What a dandy of a run that was. Hey, I'll tell you what, this kid runs like a halfback. Forget about going. Just keep it yourself and make something happen. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Robinson takes it at the four. What to look for on this drive to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 23. The Blue Devil line up with two tight ends. Takes a move. And down he goes. The halfback toss gets them a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24. The Devil. Come out in the ace formation. Upshaw drops the throw. He tosses it short. Complete. Brought down. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up to play well, and then gets the ball out of there. Third and one. Ball on the 32. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. A little handoff. Harris brings him down, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. Duke goes with the ace set here. Throws this one out to the right with the interception. 
Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Brown lines up in the shotgun. He's looking. He lets it go. Fagan hauls it in for the touchdown. Come on, sweetheart. What are you doing? You don't have to rub it in like this. Yeah, coach, but then again, it is their job to stop this offense. I mean, they can't help if their plays are working so well. Well, if that's the case, then I hope they schedule these guys again because there's nothing sweeter than getting revenge on a team that likes to run up the score. And he tacks on the extra point. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Clemson 53, Duke 7. Clemson is ready to kick it away. Patterson and Robinson back deep to return. He kicks it. Robinson fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now you find out how much faith they got this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll set up shop at the 20. The Devil come out of the ace formation. Upshaw will hand it off. Four yards gain. Second and six. Ball on the 24. Clemson comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Here's the give. Harris brings him down for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Defense! 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 The Blue Devil come out in the ace formation. Looks. Finds his receiver. Ransom. With a takedown, the passing game hasn't done much today. I'll tell you what, sweetheart, this quarterback needs to work on his accuracy. Half the time, I don't think he knows which team he's throwing to. Come out showing three wide. Upshaw on play action. And it's caught. Green brings him down. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. One man backfield. Nice play fake. Short toss. Complete. Mooney with a takedown. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Blue Devil come out in the ace formation. Looking, throws. And it's caught. Houston brings him down. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Right. 
first it's first and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Omar is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Drops back to back. Throws short. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. Second and ten. Ball on the 39. They line up in an eye. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Grant with a takedown. The running back gets two on the carry. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Collins is back in the gun. And he's taken down about six yards on the quarterback draw. Well, this is Lee's favorite play. Good call, and the quarterback did a good job of following the push of the line. It's first and ten, and this is the 11th play of the current drive. Duke goes with the ace set here. There's a play fake. Rolls to the right. It's on the ground. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Not much hope now. That fumble was not what they needed. They're already losing big. Let's just hope they don't throw the towel in all together. They'll start this drive at the 36. Brown has four receivers lined up here. Got an opening. And they make the stop. Kirk, my friend, this is exactly what you want out of your back late in the game. The ability to keep the clock moving and continue to pick up first downs. Yeah, Lee, no question. This is the time when you let him carry the team to the finish line. First and 10. Ball on the 47. They'll work from the shotgun. On the ground, right side. Young with a monster hit. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Tigers come out in a shotgun. was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. him down how about the job of this offensive line guys boy the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense it's tough when you're tired you're losing you're being dominated physically i don't know how long they can keep this up the pressure turns up when in the red zone and that's when you turn to old spice red zone when performance matters the most the Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Uh, 
It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I can't say enough about this performance. Clemson looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football